Hello everyone, today I would like to introduce you to my new material builder, which is an upgraded version of my previous Redshift material builder. Now it's going to support Redshift, Arnold and also Maya 2022. I also implemented a few new features to make your life easier when it comes to complex material building. First, when you download it, you will have this Universal Material Builder folder. If you dive inside, you can find an install.mail script. Simply drag and drop it onto your Maya viewport and it will create a, de um, a shelf button for you. If you press it, it will open this window. So it looks a bit different than the previous one, but I will work you through this. First, let's go to App and Preferences and choose the render engine we would like to use. For example, Arnold, or for now, I'll just leave it to Redshift. Also, in which color space you want your input textures to be converted. And also, if you want to use UDEM, uh, which UDEM method we want to choose. Then press Save. And for now, let's just test and make a test material. I prepared some example textures. For now, let's use albedo, height, normal, roughness. Simply drag and drop it onto here. And as you can see, you will detect the channels automatically. Uh, you can also dismiss a channel if you just drag and drop the wrong file. Uh, and you can, with this folder icon, just press it and then browse to another image you want to plug it into the diffuse. Let's press create and see what happens. It will create a range of material for you and plug in all the textures you just saw here. It also names everything correctly. So the files are usually your, your file name which you put into it. So there is a bit more to it now. Um, let's do this again. Let's make a test two material. And uh, you can see that we have this option button here. Here we can choose if you want to use UDEM. Depending on the me method you set in your preferences, it will then write the right, set this to the right UDEM method. If you choose the full control button, it will now create the material for you, but instead of plugging the textures directly into the material, it now creates for every color texture a color correction node, and for every grayscale texture, it will create a remap value node. So you have full control over your setup. So let's talk about the text for a moment where the material builder will find the right channels for your drag and drop images automatically. If you drag and drop albedo, for example, it will detect that it's a diffuse channel because of the name albedo. Let's see what happens if you plug in a texture where, which doesn't have a name to it and you can't find it in the text. Then it will ask you to set a channel automatically. Let's say this is our reflection channel and just simply press add. That works, but what if we want to now adjust our text so it fits our uh, naming conventions? Let's go to text and set change text. And now you have a text manager where you can for every channel, here by the way, you can also find every channel which is supported. You can uh, simply write another uh, another tag to this to this list. So let's say the ambient occlusion is called ambient. Oh, we have that already. So let's just call it dog for now. Press save. And now let's see if we name our let's say your I mean, occlusion textures are always called dog for some reason. Uh, let's just simply drag and drop the drop texture onto it, and it will detect that it's the ambient occlusion channel. Uh, I think that's really about it. I hope you like it. Uh, you will find the download link in the video description, and have fun.